dare to be stupid. <laughs> it's like they wrote that just for us. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the G1 Rekgar! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, usually I would take a quick look at the packaging, but since I bought this loose at uh, Comic-Con this year, I don't have the original packaging, but I do have an empty container of, uh, of Benefiber. Keeps you regular. I don't know. Anyway, so moving right along, here we have G1 Rekgar. Yes, some G1-y goodness back on the channel. And uh, yeah, I picked this guy up at Comic-Con this year and uh, figured, hey, why not? Let's review it. Sure, I'm, I'm in the mood to read all the comments saying, why are you reviewing old toys? That's the way I read it in my head. That's the way it sounds in my head when I read it, you know? It's just, no. Anyway. <laughs> but as you can see, he is a big chunky motorcycle and you can plainly see how the transformation works here but yeah it's g1 so this is what it is um we'll get in close here you do get some nice chrome right at top you got some uh trans clearance bluish plastic right there he does have rubber tires which on mine are actually still in very good condition and yeah lots of stickers as was the case with g1 autobot symbol Sticker detail, some stickered flames right there. On this side, for some reason, the previous owner put tape over it. For some reason, I don't know. He's going to need some repro label love, but, uh, you know. For now, I'll just leave these on. But, yeah, he will see repro labels in the future. But moving along, downside of the body here. Got some more sticker details, more sticker details. Got a little side pouch right there. Seats done in gray. In the back, it has some turn signals, which is nice, <laughs> and the rear tire, and underneath here, again, you can pretty much see how everything works there, and, um, he actually, he rolls okay, actually, for being a motorcycle toy, rolls not too bad, not too shabby, um, right here is the rub symbol, and, uh, <laughs> you know what makes people really mad for some reason, when I do this, when I actually rub the rub symbol? I don't know why people get mad about it, but ooh, look, I'm rubbing it. I'm rubbing it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to push your caps lock, huh? You're going to push your caps lock. Look, I'm rubbing it. Anyway, hey, look, he's an Autobot. I'm surprised. Anyway, so they have that. <laughs> he does include his uh, two weapons. He has his gun right here, cast in gray plastic. Right there, and his axe weapon. Again, just cast in gray. As you can see, it's a little, it's a little scratched up, a little beaten up. It's been around the block a couple of times, but hey, just means it was loved. Um, as far as storage goes, I mean, it's a G1 toy, so storage. <laughs> um, actually, you can, you know, plug these into the fists up here you know, if you really have to store them somewhere in vehicle mode. I guess you can do that. Sure, why not? Dare I say why not? You know. You kind of shoot fools and cut them off at the ankle while he's driving by. So, you know, it's, it's, it's an option. You know, it's, it's an option. But, okay. but uh, there you have that. And for comparison, let's bring in some more G1 dudes from the 86 movie. Here we have Cup. Here we have Hot Rod. We'll put Hot Rod there. You can see how he scales with those dudes, and does not really scale at all, because the motorcycle is way bigger than the cars, but yeah. No. Hey, scale didn't matter back then, which is why I always laugh when people complain about scale now. It's never mattered in this line. They've never cared about scale. <laughs> and here he is with G1 Rodimus Prime. Right there. They have that. And here he is with the, uh, the Reveal the Shield mold. Rickbar mold. This is the repaint, but it's the same toy. So there you have him with that version, the future version of himself. And uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's uh, to transform him. There's a bit of parts forming. What parts forming? Yes, it's a G1 toy. Duh. You want to just come to the front here and remove this front tire and just put that off to the side. And then you want to. 
take the uh, the right leg you want to unpeg it you want to bring it down you do want to unpeg the thigh here from the wheel bring all that down bring that down just take this and collapse that in like that and then you want to take this gray section here you just want to rotate that up and that will give you the clearance to take this wheel and swing it around like that and then you can untie this leg bring it down collapse it and there you go and you can just kind of straighten these out right there and stand 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 okay don't then don't <sighs> erase the camera a bit here and they just want to come here and you want to bring this whole assembly down a bit raise this up you want to take the shoulders bring them off to the sides and then take this whole big chrome piece here and collapse that down onto the chest bring that down and then you just flip down his face and bring this bring that whole assembly down and there you go there you have g1 retgar in his robot mirror let me readjust here and get a better angle of him there we go and all his junky on goodness and um yeah it doesn't look too much like he did in the movie or the show but okay <laughs> getting close here so you can see the head sculpt again doesn't really doesn't really look like him it's kind of hard to get the light in there because he just has so much <laughs> surrounding his face but yeah it doesn't really look like him but hey it's g1 and of course he does have his uh his gun nipples <laughs> that's accurate at least and yeah just big chromed out chest plate there with some nice details and yeah you know, it's, it's, it's a G1 toy it's simple it does what it does and it does it to the best of its abilities <laughs> as far as 1986 engineering goes so of course he can't hold his weapons he can hold his gun he can hold his axe um, if you want you can have him holding the wheel as like a shield just plug that back into his hand Put that back in there with that he can hold it as a shield or what people usually do is they just take this wheel and plug it onto the axe and just have him hold all that like that so again it's your toy up to you how you want to display it now articulation wise uh it's it's g1 so there's not a lot um the head does not move at all you can check the, i mean you can have him look up but it totally just it, he ends up just decapitating himself really and that's just kind of disturbing so you really don't want to do that um the arms are actually pretty nicely articulated for a g1 toy the shoulders are on ball joints which is nice you actually get a pretty decent range of movement there he does have an elbow joint with 90 degrees of movement he does have a wrist swivel which is amazing um the legs you know you have forward movements at the hip and that's pretty much it um the knees can only bend the wrong way for transformation don't know if that really serves any real use but it's there and yeah that's basically it <laughs> it's g1 so, there you have that now for comparison here he is with uh g1 cup with his uh half a head that's just disturbing it really is anyway there he is with g1 cup and here he is with g1 hot rod and I uh, will get them all in the shot here. He is with G1 Rodimus Prime. You can see he's actually still a little bit taller than uh, than Rodimus there at the head. So there you go. There you have that. There you have that. And there you have that. And here he is with the Reveal the Shield. Retgar. His future self. And there you go. So yeah, G1 in goodness. Glad to have it. Um, I've been wanting a G1 Retgar for a while, and uh, you know, finally found one for a decent price at Comic Con, and yeah, I like it. It's G1. I love it. Part of my childhood. Um, you know, I never had this guy when I was a kid, so happy to finally have him. So there you go. 
Now, if you want Transformers from any generation, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my G1 playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the G1 Rekgar, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Pull me in your face. Cup, what is that language he's speaking? TV. We talk TV. I talk some TV. And now the news. Don't touch that dial. Oh! This is CNN. Oh! Free financing. Oh! Introducing the Slap Chop. Ah! Tired of making pancakes the old-fashioned way? Ah! And now Kent Brockfist with sports. Ah! I, I think you're managing to say every offensive thing in their language. Full House will be right back after these messages. Ah!